woman you were with at the floating room? It looked like you were on a date. No, 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 not at all. Ursula's an old friend. She's lived in Port Charles for years, so when she heard I was moving here, she offered to show me around. Okay. It's pretty open-minded of the local rib joint to have a ladies' ladies' night, so we decided to have a drink, catch up. The truth is, I haven't dated at all since my divorce. Why not? I mean, if you don't mind me asking. It's not a secret. It, uh, it's just hard to articulate, I guess. You know, dating means starting over and considering a new future, which is great in theory, but it's really hard to accept that the life you thought you once wanted isn't right for you at all. I've been there. I mean, not there, a different kind of there, but y you know what I mean. That's actually one of the reasons that I accepted the job at PCU. I wanted to get away from my ex, all the memories there. I'm sorry, Christina. For what? I don't need to be burdening you with all of this. Sorry. Not burdening me. I asked. Considering our history and the, the fact that I hurt you. I... Are we still dwelling on that? Aren't we past it? Are we? Well, if we're not, then it's about time we started. Well, okay. But I'm I'm really sorry that I hurt you. I know. I'm sorry I hurt you too. There, done and done. Yes, I was just so confused. I didn't know what to do about my life and my marriage. And... Yeah, I was confused too. You know, when I leveled unfounded accusations against you. Uh oh. Looks like we're both, you know, flawed, messed up human beings. Here's a thought. Let's not cling to that. And how about we just, you know, move on? I'll try and follow your example. Mine. Well, from the looks of it at the little story the other night, you found someone that you care about. I really hope that she's supportive of you, especially everything going on with your family. Uh, actually... Christina! Hey. Why would they... Hey, Val. Hey, babe. I picked us up some lunch from Kelly's. Oh, I don't want to keep you from your lunch date. Parker, right? Parker Forsyth. And you're Valerie? Yeah. We met the other night at the floating rib. It, it's good to see you again. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. Oh, don't worry about it. It's loud in there. So, how are you liking Port Charles so far? Oh, well, so far, so good. Well, I should get going. I have a class to prep. <laughs> Lovely seeing you and Christina. It's always good to see you. I, I hope everything going on with your family turns out okay. Thanks. Me too. Bye, ladies. Bye. Well, it's official. Parker is jealous. You know what, girlfriend? I think you might be right. I think that Parker might actually be a little jealous. And is that what you want? Well, I know what I'm supposed to say that I'm completely over Parker and that I'm moving on with my life and that her jealousy or lack thereof is totally meaningless. But since I'm the one posing as your girlfriend, you don't have to tell me what you're supposed to say. You can just tell me the truth. Well, the truth is when it comes to me and Parker, I don't know what I want. 